How's it going, people? It is the day before <clears throat> the day before Thanksgiving, Wednesday, and we finally got that rain that we've been wanting. Now that we don't need it, well, I'm Butte County up here. We've had all those devastating fires. You know, fruit of the north. But uh, yeah. Now they've got these just heavy rains going. So they can get some mudslides to go with uh, all that fire they had. Yeah. Just in time to be too late. I'll take it though. So it's, it's all right up here, but boy, I'm thankful I made it up the hill. Thankful to my own good driving. No, almost zero visibility. First rain in months and months. So the roads were slick. And the roads were pretty busy, too. So it was crazy. Yeah. So, seems appropriate to get to my next Mennonite, Mennonite, uh, uh, publication here. Who's Thanksgiving? And they got a little bountiful basket. All right. And they repeat the title question in bold on the inside here. Thanksgiving Day is a lot like Father's Day. Both days remind us to express our love and to show special appreciation. Father's Day. You know, they got like a, a Mother's Day, too, I understand. Oh, I have fallen in love. This is a different type of uh, single malt. So usually it's aged in uh, like these... Sour mash barrels, you know, the scotch. Yeah, stuff that had the best sour mash aging in it for like 12 years. They send the, they send the, uh, the, uh, the barrels to, you know, the kegs back to um, Scotland. And this is the result is when they put their scotch in these barrels and they just get this redolence of all the good things that you like in a bourbon with all the things you love in a scotch. Ordinarily, the other brand, they also use some uh, barrels that had uh, um, a sherry in it, probably a macchiato. So this has a, a kind of slightly sweeter note. But this, this is sublime. Mm. Peaty, smoky. Mm. Too nice to rush. All right. Special, speaking of special appreciation. Our fathers are like our Heavenly Father, capitalized, in some ways. Like deadbeat dad, maybe? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the great Santini. <laughs> yeah, the bully you get to go home to. Know a little bit about that. Um, tell your father that you plan to have a special day in his honor, and he might ask with a twinkle, Am I invited? God asks the same question telepathically or something, I guess. I don't know. Some people can hear the voices. The voice. Voices. I don't know. They're not crazy because so many other people agree about the same shit. And it's mainstream. Yeah, God asks the same question. Many families will have a 
a special day and call it Thanksgiving. But then they will send spend only a few minutes making a long-distance thank you call to God. How techno. The one they should have invited will be far, far away. Oh, and there's a little teeny uh, thing below, so before I turn to page three. Prepared and submitted by the Publication Board of the Eastern Pennsylvania Mennonite Church. Glad I didn't skip that. All right, page three. Good. Our families will have their heavenly father capitalized for an honored guest because he capitalized has been in their home all year. And he sees you when you're sleeping and he knows when you're awake and he knows if you've been bad for good. Bad or good. Or if it was good for you. It was probably bad for someone else that was bad all along. You know, basic empathy, you know. <laughs> <sighs> Good thing for Moses, huh? Giving us that. Your father might also ask, hypothetically, can I be myself on my day? Or must I dress up and go where you take me. Well, depends on if you're like casual. Better dress up, but not too fancy. You know, good for work, but you know, uncomfortable, so you're on the right track. <sighs> or must I dress up? And go where you take me. Anyway, uh, some people have a special day in the Lord's name, but then plan the day to suit themselves. Is that the X Mass? <laughs> the first volley of the year has been launched. The war on Christmas is back on. You're welcome. Spending the hours watching football would be one example. Fucking pagans. All that worshiping. Idol worshiping. But God, unlike some of our fathers, We'll not be embarrassed into looking pleased just because we say we are having a special day for him, capitalized. No doubt, some fathers ask their children, Will you sit down and talk to me? Or will you be rushing around all day? In hypotheticals there. What could a father enjoy more than just to have his children around him? I guess that's a case-by-case -case situation. I wouldn't know. I decided to raise an Ira instead. What could a father enjoy more than just to have his children around him soaking up their nearness and friendship? On Thanksgiving Day, our Heavenly Father, capitalized, too, looks around for people who in their hearts say, Lord, uh, they say that, uh, Lord, thank you, capitalized, not 
you uh, only for what you capitalized gave, uh, give, but also for what you are and capitalized. I love you capitalize for yourself capitalized. I'm going to stop doing that. It's getting tedious. <laughs> you know, just add in the capitals where you think they should be. That's probably where they are. How's that? Unless it really matters. Don't want to see it bogged down here. I mean, it's the day before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Eve. Oh, and I made it alive up this hill. And it, damn, that was crazy. But, three-day weekend. So it's all right. I'm just getting started. Uh, when fa fathers capitalized, special day is over. He <laughs> started going back to it. No more of the capitalizing. All right. Uh, he asks that inevitable question When will I see you again? There is really an appropriate, wait, that is really an appropriate question. Thanksgiving Day isn't supposed to be a time of thanking God enough to get rid of our guilt. <sighs> guilt? for not having thanked him the rest of the year. Shame on them. I mean, if you signed up for it, you should you know, follow through. It is supposed to draw us closer to our Heavenly Father. The Lord wants to hear from us again the next day, and the day after that, ad nauseum. The fact is, God never asked us to have a special Thanksgiving Day, but he has asked us to have a Lord's Day once a week, 1 Corinthians 16, 2, and also Acts 27. And also Hebrews 10.25. Do you think God is satisfied when we keep a special Thanksgiving day but neglect to keep the same Lord's day his disciples faithfully kept after the resurrection? Once in a while, some thoughtful father startles everyone with a surprise of his own. A treat, a gift, a check, or a bouquet. That's sweet. Then, of course, the only way to please him is to take it. Nothing pleases him more than to see his gifts received with joy. God also makes a special offer today. Are you asking as King David did? What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits towards me? The answer is simple. I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. Psalm 116, 13. There you go. The best, most loving thing 
we can do for the Lord is to not give, but to take, to take the cup of salvation. That's the spirits. The day you receive his salvation will be the happiest day of your life. Looking forward to it. Rolling dice. <laughs> and it was written by David L. Martin. I want to give him credit. And that's... Uh, that's... Uh, who's Thanksgiving? The, the, on the eve of Thanksgiving. And on the beginning of my three-day weekend. So I'm going to have a freaking awesome time. It sounds like the rain finally stopped. Anyway, I don't got to drive anywhere for a long time. Let me know. Did you learn something there about Thanksgiving? Sound like there's some daddy issues, maybe? I don't know. Uh, love to hear your thoughts and suggestions. Peace. The fuck. Out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. If you're drawing breath, you're doing pretty good already.